self-contained speaker. You really won't be able to see it in the light because of the position it's in. I would have it like this, but or this, but it doesn't stay up that way. But here's a look at the cone before I put it down. Sun damage cone. The reason I can't do this is because it's parted, and that'll block the port. The weird thing is, as you can tell, there used to be some seal thing, but I could feel the port on it, so I just took the ceiling thing off. It's on, it, The ceiling thing's still on the other one. So, here we go. Just remember, I don't actually like that kind of music, but I use that song because of its uh, bass line and uh, let's go to test speakers. Cloths around on this thing. You notice the coil is really deep down in there, so you really can't touch it much. It did get a little bit warm. The speaker is, wasn't really ha The speaker doesn't take much power, and the port blows a lot of air though. Doesn't like make paper move and such. Speaker sounds okay, but 
unless it unfortunately has like the problem of most self-contained speakers like these where they sound pretty boxy. I'll open up the speaker now so you can see what's inside. And here's the unit out of the box. You notice it has a nice long square magnet, kind of like the GGE speak GGEC Panasonic Vera speaker I have. I wonder how it's sounding freer. I'm not doing a freer video of it though. Decent coil. Guess it's on the magnet. This is upside down. Six ohms and a bunch of random numbers. Here's the inside. It has the number 23 in it for some reason. And there's the port. Yep, that's it for this video.